Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to issue partial refund on Etsy website. So first of all, of course, all you need to do, just go and open the browser that you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. So of course, here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you opened your browser, just go here to the URL section and type etsy.com and hit the enter button. That will take you into this page, and if you are logged into your account, you will find a welcome back sentence with your name right here. And of course, if you are not logged into your account or you don't even have an account, you will find at the top right corner a sign in option. Click on it, and you will be able to log into your account or even to create your account if you don't have one. Of course, you will be able to do both options even with your Google account, Facebook account, or even an Apple account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or logging into your account. Once you did one of the options, of the two options you'll find yourself here with this home page with the welcome back sentence and as we said on the beginning of the video if you would like to uh, issue the partial refund for an order simply would like to go to the shop manager by clicking at you the shop icon at the top right corner from there you will find the page and from that page you would like to go to orders and shipping of course you would like to choose the ellipse sorry the ellipses icon next to the order you want to refund for me as you can see i don't have any orders but for you just follow what i'm saying of course what, once you choose it you would like to choose issue a refund then select a reason for issuing a refund and add an option uh, an optional message to the buyer of course if you want to refund the entire transaction choose the box by issue a full refund if you want to partially refund the transaction after the amount uh, to refund next to the item then you would like just to select a review refund and of course you would like to click at submit and you'll be good to go so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching it goodbye